Panicking. We never practice panicking. We practice going out neatly. Pardon me, fire. Look out. Pardon me, fire. Fire. Yes, pardon me, fire. Tokyo Electric Power Company is storing about 300,000 tons of contaminated water in pools and tanks at the Fukushima nuclear site. Now another of those storage pools is leaking. Officials from Japan's Nuclear Regulation Authority found a leak in the facility's number two pool last week. They began transferring water from that pool to the number one pool, where the new leak was discovered on Tuesday. This is the third pool officials have found to be leaking. TEPCO has stopped moving water between tanks. TEPCO official Masayuki Ono said both pools are unusable. He said the company will have to find another location on site in which to store the contaminated water. That shit is fucking crazy. Experts from the International Atomic Energy Agency say they will visit Fukushima to examine the Daiichi nuclear plant. It will be their first time to observe the decommissioning work. The experts will inspect the plant from Wednesday to Friday next week. They'll discuss the progress with officials from the plant's operator, Tokyo Electric Power Company, and they'll meet with officials from the Natural Resources and Energy Agency. They're expected to suggest ways of dealing with leaks of contaminated water. And they'll check measures to protect workers from exposure to radiation. IAEA officials last visited the plant in May 2011 to examine the extent of the disaster. TEPCO officials say it will take about 40 years to complete the decommissioning process. An NHK survey suggests a majority of Japanese approve of Prime Minister Abe's decision to join the TPP talks. More than 1,000 people aged 20 or over responded to the survey. 12% said they strongly approve of Abe's decision. 52% approve moderately. 22% said they disapprove. 7% said they strongly disapprove. Asked whether Abe's stance on the TPP would help protect the farming industry and food safety, 5% agreed strongly, while 40% were in moderate agreement. 41% said they did not agree, and 10% disagreed strongly. North Korea may face at least one obstacle in its plans to expand its nuclear capabilities. The head of the International Atomic Energy Agency says the country may not be able to restart a disabled nuclear reactor right away. By observing it uh, from satellite imagery, we cannot tell uh, whether uh, they are, how they are maintaining how uh, they are refurbishing uh, the uh, facility. Uh, but normally, uh, it would take time uh, to restart uh, the uh, reactor. North Korea announced plans last week to rebuild and restart a reactor in the city of Nyonbyon. North Korean authorities agreed to shut down the reactor following six-party talks in 2007. The 5-megawatt graphite-moderated Nonbon plant could enable North Korea to extract plutonium for use in nuclear weapons. Amano said the IAEA has had difficulty assessing conditions at the plant since 2009 when its inspectors were ordered to leave the facility. Monitoring is now conducted only through satellite imaging. The foreign ministers of 10 countries are urging the North Koreans to refrain from conducting a missile test or a nuclear test. All of them come from nations without nuclear weapons. The 10 countries include Japan, Germany and Australia. The ministers gathered at The Hague for a meeting on nuclear disarmament and non-proliferation. We should work with the rest of the international community to send a strong message to North Korea that it won't benefit from provocations. 
obligation. The ministers made the appeal in a joint statement. They criticized North Korea for undermining regional security in February by carrying out another underground nuclear test. They urged officials in Pyongyang to take international warnings seriously, obey UN Security Council resolutions, and refrain from any more provocations. A powerful earthquake has reportedly killed more than 30 people in southern Iran. The U.S. Geological Survey says a magnitude 6.3 quake hit Bushehr province on Tuesday afternoon. Iran's state-run media reports that at least 37 people died and more than 850 were injured. Their towns and villages are about 20 kilometers from the epicenter. Iran's only nuclear power plant is located in the province. It's operated under supervision of the International Atomic Energy Agency. The plant manager says the facility is continuing normal operations. He said the epicenter is more than 100 kilometers away and said the plant is designed to withstand strong earthquakes. Iranian officials say they've boosted their nuclear capacity by opening a new plant to make raw uranium. Their announcement came after failed nuclear talks between Iran and six world powers. The Iranian government says it's opened two uranium mines and activated a plant to produce the raw uranium known as yellow cake. No country in the world can prevent our nuclear development, which we've achieved with our own technology. The government says the plant can make more than 60 tons of yellow cake a year. The United States and European countries have denounced Iran's nuclear program. They suspect the country is trying to produce bombs, but Iran says it will use its program for peaceful purposes. Life got tougher, and we got stronger. Extra strength, Excedrin, with the two most powerful pain relievers you can buy, plus a third ingredient to give you unsurpassed headache relief. I'm glad there's Excedrin to get rid of my headache. Extra strength, Excedrin. Capsules and tablets. Life got tougher, and we got stronger. We bring new friends to play. Hi. Show how much you care. I wrote this just for you. We make you smile, GE. We bring good things to live in. We bring good things to live in. We bring good things to life. We let you live it again. We bring a song to your night. We help you to create. We keep you looking right. We bring you closer. got a headache this big and it's got Excedrin written all over it. I've got a headache this big and it's got Excedrin written all over it. Excedrin, the big headache medicine. More medicine than any regular strength pain reliever. The most medicine you can buy without a prescription. Nothing is stronger. I had a headache this big, but I took Excedrin and it's gone. Excedrin from Bristol Myers. Excedrin, the headache medicine.
problem is the corporations own the government. So the controls are not very good. And that's the reason. But if you now give the people to make laws, they'll make laws that will regulate the corp. The corporations need to be regulated. They are not democracies. The corporation is designed as, a, as, a, an, act, as an item of economic activity that is responsible to the shareholders. They're not responsible to the public. They're responsible to make a profit for the shareholders. And so if you have managers that have no moral conscience, in fact, corporations have no morality and no memory. They just are designed to make money. That should not be in command of society. And they are in command of society worldwide today. And that has to change because that is going to lead to the destruction of our planet because it is uncontrolled. And we see this with corporations, with the financial situation and the meltdown that's taken place. Again, that's irresponsible corporate activity that must be controlled.